Welcome back. You're watching Winning Post Ultra. I'm Andira Lalwani and we're talking about all the racing action in Mumbai. We got a chance to catch up with Kushu Dhanji Boy, who of course is a prolific breeder, but apart from that has one of the favourites in this year's crop. I'm talking about the Wonder Horse Sergeant at Arms and we got a chance to catch up with him and speak at length about this champion. What a smashing appearance this is by Sergeant Tatam in at the Bombay race course is about five lengths ahead of Lucas Supreme General St. Andrews. They're all in futile chase. But Sergeant Tatam winning this one very impressively. The horse that everybody's talking about, one of yours, Sergeant Tatam's. Uh, a very, very interesting story how, you know, as to how it all shaped up. And first there were no takers or he was with some other trainer. Tell us a little bit about all of that. Well, Sergeant has been you know, his own story. But uh, the great thing about him was that he was the last horse left on the farm. He was uh, given to Vijay Singh in Calcutta. I mean, we had actually uh, positioned him for Calcutta. Um, but Vijay Singh said, you know, I've got a stable full. Now there are restrictions on uh, you know, the number of horses I can take. So I'm sorry, I, I would love to take him, but I can't. So then next we looked around and uh, then I saw uh, maybe we'll send him to Bangalore. And then I phoned up Suleiman, who used to work for us. So Suli said that uh, same plight, I don't have any, any accommodation. But he managed somehow to say, okay, I'll, I'll see if another trainer can accommodate him and maybe when there's a space with me, I will take him over and things like that. So Levy, having been left with no so choice, we sent him to Bangalore. And the end result is a, is a great horse for Suli, you know. <laughs> Start as orders and off they go for the 2016 edition of the Kingfisher Ultra Derby Bangalore Grade 1. But inside the final 50 meters and he can go ahead straight to the queues here at the winning counter as uh, Sergeant Adams has won the 2016 edition of the Kingfisher Ultra Derby Bangalore Grade 1. Absolutely. And at what point did you realize how special he was? And you know, you've had so many good horses. As soon as he ran his first race, you know, I mean, he showed it that he had, had a bit of class. You can always never say with horses, but you know he showed it, and uh, and then uh, of course Wispy, my partner, jumped into the fray because he, he was always very fond of Suleiman when he was at the farm. And then he phoned him up and said, "I want to have a horse in Bangalore." And so then Suli said he actually wanted another one, but Suli said, uh, "No, no, no." It was a filly called Leptis Magma. So he said, "No, no, don't take that one. If you want a share, take a leg in this." So he took a leg in that. And so he was a lucky guy. <laughs> totally, and he's ecstatic about it, right? Uh, now, as far as Sergeant at Arms is concerned, uh, he's doing well. Uh, he sadly got beat in the Mysore Derby, but then that happens, and probably to a good filly. So you can't, you can't say. I think basically this family really doesn't stay the mile and a half, or maybe the best distance I would say is between the mile to mile and a quarter. Not that he lost by much. I, there are various factors, you know, I mean, when you travel a horse, some horses don't travel well, some horses travel well. Um, he, I think, did not travel that well. When a change of environment comes to some horses, they do well. Like we had a horse, yeah, you know, which ran the Hyderabad Guineas and he lost 20 kilos in weight by the time he went from here to Hyderabad. Now, how do you deal with that? Similar thing happened to this, I mean he won the Hyderabad 2000, but by that much, so you know these things keep happening when you travel horses, some travel beautifully and you know there's no hassle at all and some don't and I think he did not travel well, at least in his second outing his disposition was bad, he was trying to bite the horse in the next stall, you know something was irritating him, you know, so this can happen, he's come to Bombay He's as good as gold. He's now weighing, uh, you know, 25 kilos more than what he weighed in, uh, when he ran in, uh, uh, in Bangalore. And uh, his feet, I don't know, Bombay, I think, suits him well, you know. As far as his crop is concerned, Sergeant at Arms, which according to you are the top horses in this crop and the horses to watch out for for the derby? We have a filly which we think will stay the derby trip. Mrs. Patmore. From Hall of Famer on the far side, Mrs. Patmore. From uh, Hall of Famer, Mrs. Patmore gets it from Hall of Famer. She's the one to look out for. She's a very well-bred filly. She's by Holy Roman Emperor, same horses, be safe. 
Of course, Holy Roman also has a bit of a doubt in the uh, in the pedigree of uh, in his pedigree. But then she comes from a, a family which stays two miles. So, from female family, has got classic cliche winner of the Ascot Gold Cup and all that sort of you know background. So she's one that could spark a big surprise 